Hello everybody, today's video is to just delve into the wilderness as such. I'm going to go through my entire 4K collection. It's going to be a long video, so apologies in advance, but let's get on with it. Alright everyone, Jordy Paul here. Welcome back to Magpie Movies and welcome back to a brand new video. Hope we're all well. So yes, this is a brand new video. This is a brand new collection video. I'm going to be going through my entire 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray collection. Going from box sets, A to Z, boutique labels, everything I own. If there's anything I have that you don't and you want to ask questions about it, feel free to do so in the comments below. Go to my uh, Magpie Movies Facebook page, ask me on there, or just connect to me on Facebook, Instagram, whatever you want. Always available, always available for a chat, or whatever you want to do. So yeah, so, if you're new to the channel and you like these kind of collections, don't forget to please hit that subscribe button. I'm nearly close to a thousand, which will be amazing. Um, hit the notification bell, so whenever I do a new video, you'll be the first to know. And also hit the, the thumbs up, um, and that will be really good. Additionally, uh, if anybody's tuned to the recent live streams, I've had Jamie Powell and Big Paulie on. I appreciate that. I was also on Movie Chats live stream. Um, if you go to my channel, then please do uh, have a look through those. It'd be much appreciated. But I know why you're here. You're here to see my 4K collection. So on with the show. So recently, I've kind of gone through a rearranging of certain things up on my shelving. Uh, kind of to make more space, I've kind of put them into either franchises or collections. So I've started with the franchises collection, so we'll go through those first. Uh, first up is Bad Boys. Uh, sorry, enjoy this. The first one is always the best for me. So we have Bad Boys, followed by, of course, Bad Boys 2. And then obviously what you're going to do, Bad Boys for Life, Bad Boys 3. Thoroughly enjoy this collection. I always think the first one's the best. Um, but yeah, so that's the Bad Boys collection. Next we've got my Bonds. So we have Casino Royale. Cop My Solace, which I don't mind at all. It's not the best, but it's not as bad as people say. Uh, then we have Skyfall. Spectre. And of course, the most recent and the last of the Daniel Craig is no type of die and it still annoys me that we've got all these ones as you can see in a kind of similar vein as such with the pictures and everything that go on it and then you've got this one sorry this one and it's just completely different never mind so that's all my bonds that i have in 4k then we have godzilla from 2014 i believe uh, is it? Yes, it is. Yep. So we've got Godzilla, followed by Godzilla King of the Monsters. I've put the th my, if you can hear it, it's, it's a kind of a loose disc because I put my 3D disc in there so everything's collected together. And then we have the Steelbook of Godzilla versus Kong. And then finally we have Kong Skull Island. So that's my Monsterverse together. And then we come on to... One of my favourite franchises, the Halloween franchise. Yes. So we have the UK um, Halloween one. Now, I, I kept this one because it comes with art cards inside, as you can see there. So I've kept it because of that. And it comes with a nice slip cover. So we've got Halloween 1978. And then we have the um, Scream Factory's Halloween in the box set. And I flip the cover over as well. So we have that one. And then we have Halloween 2, obviously, because you go into the franchise poll, they're obviously going to be Halloween 2. And then we have Halloween 3, Season of the Witch. And then guess what's next? It's Halloween 4, The Return of Michael Myers. And then we have Halloween 5, The Revenge of Michael Myers. And then next we have the 4K 95 to 2002 collection, which comes with The Curse of Michael Myers, age 2 20 years later, and of course Halloween Resurrection. Put those in today. Yeah, so that's the last 
of my Halloween collection with regards to the Scream Factories and then we have 2018's Halloween and then we have Halloween Kills in a nice steel book and then finally we have Halloween Ends, the worst of the new trilogy uh, in a nice steel book as well and that is the end of my Halloween uh, franchise next up I've got my Jurassic Park franchise now I don't Oh, I shouldn't see it again. If there was a release of the new Steelbook set, I wasn't bothered with that. I just kept the ones that I've got. So we've got the original Jurassic Park Steelbook. The Lost World Jurassic Park Steelbook. I don't know why I keep checking them, because I know what they're coming next. Lost World Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park 3, which I enjoy. I do like this one. I know it gets a lot of hate, but I do enjoy Jurassic Park 3. And then we have Jurassic World. Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, and then the most recent one, because I forgot to do it again, is Jurassic World Dominion. So we've had all these uniformed, and then this comes out. But yes, so those are all the Jurassic uh, Park merchandise, all six movies uh, in steelbook form. There we go. And the final one, now the only reason this is in this section, because I know this is franchises, because, to, like I said, to um, create room, for the things we have to shelf behind me and that is John Coppola's thing now this is the, the big box set one with all the book and the prequel in there as well so that is John Coppola's the thing so next we have the only box set I have of the show which is the Stranger Things season one box set this one is cheap as chips because it comes like a VHS in there the second one, for some reason, is like 50 quid or something like that to get input. They only did the two series, um, but I've got the first one. Then we have the Back to the Future trilogy. It's got to be. This is the, the Steelbook one with the DeLorean in there. Again, flimsy case. Don't get it. But yeah, I think to me... Back the Future is, is a is a film and movie buff. Back the Future trilogy is a must have on 4K. So there you go. And then we have the Italian import of the Batman uh, four film collection, which as you can see here, up oh, to the upside down pole. Uh, Batman, Batman Returns, Batman Forever, and Batman and Robin. Uh, but yeah, you can see it's Italian because it's got the thing on the back of there. So that's the Batman franchise, followed by the Steelbook of Joker. I love this film. So good. And then followed by uh, the HMV Limited Steelbook hard case of the Batman. With the nice Steelbook inside that one as well. Put that one pristine and the nice in the box. And then we have the, not Steelbook, but just a standard edition of the Indiana Jones 4K movie collection. Uh, I just got the normal foldy out one, as you can see, as opposed to Steelbook. Oh, I'll tell you what, I'll go back. I've missed the stage. I've got a Dark Knight trilogy. Yes. There we go. Christopher Nolan's Dark Knight trilogy. Yeah, I missed that out for some reason. As Indian Jones. And then we have the Resident Evil uh, 4K collection. So we have a one that I got imported, which is just all the 4K discs, no Blu-rays of the Resident Evil, the Lee Jovich one. And then we have the new one, Welcome to Raccoon City, which I really enjoy. I know it gets a lot of hate, um, but to be honest, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I thought it was really good. Uh, but yeah, so that's Resident Evil. Move those to one side. And then we have the uh, Mission Impossible collection, which it has the two Amore cases for the 4K and the Blu-ray. So we have that one. That is one through Rogue Nation or one through five. Uh, and then, of course, we have Singular Mission Impossible Fallout. And then we have The Purge, one of my all-time favourite collections. Uh, the Purge, not collection, but franchises as such. I've just got all three of them in there, if you can see, if you move the ring light. And then we have The First Purge. And then we have The Forever Purge. So that's a nice collection for The Purges. And then we have a big, big box set here which is the Transformers 5 movie collection. 
turn them upside down again, Transformers, all the way through to The Last Night. All on individual Amore boxes as well in there, so it's a nice little collection to have. And then we have the Matrix 4K collection, which bend over a bit for some reason. And then finally, we have the Matrix Resurrections Steelbook. Not the best of films, but you've got to complete the collection, haven't you? So that's the kind of franchise collection out of the way. Now, before we move on, I just thought I'd go through a few other things here. So I kind of get the collector's editions of, of movies as well, not too many. But when I do, I take them out, put them into the Amore A to Z, but leave the boxes out. So you'll know what I mean. So, for example, the Passengers box set, I've took the Amore out of that, just so you know that that's there. The same with the Northman, took it out of there. Again, the same with the Green Mile, took it out with there. You get the idea. Full Metal Jacket, Event Horizon, box set, obviously. Uh, Edge of Tomorrow, Live, Die, Repeat. And finally, Clockwork Orange. So all those ones are now individually into the A to Z. So a little insight into uh, when I say to you, oh, this is from the box set, you know what I mean. Right, so as you can see here, shelf number one. Uh, well, technically shelf number two after the franchises. This is all the A to Z ones. Um, I'll go through them. Try not to be too um, slow because it'll be a long video. So we have, I'll tell you as well if they're really good 4K pictures. Well, why not? Uh, 13 hours, Secret Souls of Benghazi. Very good 4K picture. 1917, Sam Mendes. Very good 4K picture. Uh, 300, could have been a better 4K picture. Uh, Alien, yeah, it's good. Enjoy that one. Uh, Alien Covenant. This is actually the first 4K I ever bought because you could only get the steel book with the 4K. Um, so that's the 4K of Alien Covenant. Then we have Alien, Alien, Elite a Battle Angel that comes with the 3D. <laughs> Alien again. Um, Almost Famous that Big Paulie picked up for me when he was down shopping with Evander because I couldn't find it anywhere when we were in Birmingham. An amazing film, very highly recommended. Thank you very much for Big Paulie again for that. Uh, Ambulance, great, great, great movie. If you haven't seen this yet, I, pre I, I recommend it highly. Uh, and it's a fantastic 4K picture. So that's Ambulance. Uh, Ridley Scott's American Gangster. Baby Driver, a great soundtrack. Uh, my friend Scott Tobin sent me the German edition of Backdraft. Uh, Black Hawk Down, I watched this again recently in 4K. Very, very good. Blade, which I got with my birthday money about two years ago, which I haven't actually watched this yet. Uh, then we have Blade Runner The Final Cut, great picture on that one as well. Blade Runner 2049, fantastic picture, which is one of the first really, really good pictures that when 4K got released, so definitely worth that one. Brightburn, Bullet Train Steelbook, great picture on that one as well, great film as well actually. Uh, and Bumblebee, which one has one of the Best opening of a Transformers film ever, and the 4K is not bad either. Right, I'll move this pile to one side. Uh, we then have Cabin in the Woods, Steelbook. Candyman, the new uh, sequel, stroke, get a sequel, uh, uh, 4K, what's the 4K? 4K collection. Chaos Walking, and still never seen it, but the 4K uh, Steelbook was cheap, so I picked that up. This is where it comes from the box set. This is the Clockwork Orange Steelbook. Uh, really enjoy this film. Saw this when it got re-released back in 99, 2000, I think, when I was at uni. So there you go. Uh, one of my all-time favorite, if not my all-time favorite, uh, Disney's Coco. Uh, recent CX pickup, Collateral. If anybody's got the fork, if anybody's got the uh, slip code for this, then let me know. Uh, Conjuring, because it was cheaper to get the 4K than it was the Blu-ray. Haven't watched any of these movies yet. Deadpool, uh, followed by Deadpool 2. Uh, Death on the Nile, a lovely Xmas gift of my friend Anthony Fisher. Deep World Horizon, another one with a really, really good 4K crispy picture. Die Hard, the all time best Christmas film ever. Uh, Doctor Sleep with the extended director's cut on Blu ray only. Uh, really good picture on that one as well. Uh, one of my all-time favourite films a couple of years ago, Dune. This is the uh, imported 
uh, steel book I got. Uh, excellent picture on that one again. Dunkirk, one of my favourite Christopher Nolan ones. Uh, again, the dog fight team with Tom Hardy on that and the Spitfire is very good. Uh, there you go. That's the steel book for Edge of Tomorrow, which I saw already the box set for before. And then we have the box set of another classic, The Elephant Man, David Lynch. This is the box set which comes with the St. Paul's Cathedral. St. Paul's Cathedral, right? Oh, I can't remember. Um, but yes, so that is the big box set for that one. And then we're into the final stretch now. We have Basil Luhrmann's Elvis. Thoroughly enjoyed that one. A gift from Mr. Jimmy Powell, Escape from New York. And then two films which I think are underrated, which is The Equalizer and The Equalizer 2. Thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy these uh, from the director of Training Day, which is also coming out in 4K soon, which I can't wait for that. And then we have the Event Horizon uh, Steelbook as well. I remember we got to see this in cinema, and I thought it was really good and scary at the time. Uh, Everest, get this cheapest chips now, and it's a really quality 4K picture, so I'd highly recommend you picking this one up. Uh, Steelbook are one of my favourite John Carpenters, after the... Um, Halloween, which is The Fog. And we have Forrest Gump, which I sold to my friend Lee, and then he'd got the steel book, so he said you can have a back. So thanks again for that, Lee. Uh, we've got Full Metal Jacket, which is a great picture, by the way, for what for the 1980 film um, that comes out of the box set. Uh, Fury, a film I had to watch twice because I didn't like it the first time round, but I thoroughly enjoyed it the second time round. But it's got a great sound in that one. Uh, one of my all-time favourite 4K picture ones, not the best film, but I don't mind it, uh, 60 frames per second, I'm, I'm a big fan of 60 frames per second, um, so that's Gemini Man. And finally, another CX pickup, which is Guy Ritchie's The Gentleman. And that's the end of row number one. Okay, so we are on the shelf number two, let's crack on. Get out, Jordan Peele's first film. My imported, because I had to get it, is the Ghostbusters 1 and 2, 5 disc, 30th, whatever anniversary it was, I can't even remember what anniversary it was now, um, which got 5 discs inside it. Favourite film of a couple of years ago, uh, Ghostbusters Afterlife, again, good picture on this one as well. Uh, and thanks, I think Jamie picked this up for me, Mr Pal, so thanks for that, because it came with the, the slip cover. Thanks buddy. Uh, had to have this one on the collection, don't you? You know me, you know I love me Gladiator. That's the uh, 4K Steelbook. I uh, picked up the German import of Guy, um, Guy Ritchie's, uh, Gerald Butler's Greenland. And then again from the box set, we have Green Mile. Gremlins, not a very good 4K picture, but I have to have this for collection because it's Gremlins. Uh, fantastic picture, Hacksaw Ridge. Everyone raves on about this and I like it, but I don't think it's as good as it people make out. Uh, another uh, Christmas gift of my friend Anthony Fisher, which is Heat, Michael Mann's Heat. Great, 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 great movie. Uh, we have Independence Day. We have It Chapter 1 import and It Chapter 2 import. Uh, I like the pictures in this and I really like both of those movies, I'm perfectly honest with you. Um, Kevin Nolan's... Kevin Nolan, he's a footballer. Christopher Nolan's Interstellar. Then we have the steelbook of I Am Legend. Again, Christopher Nolan's Inception. Invisible Man. Again, a great 4K picture in this one. And Jack Reacher. The loose disc. Not anymore. Jack Reacher. And then we have Jack Reacher Never Go Back. Jaws. Essential 4K. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant upgrade. Jigsaw, John Wick, great. To be fair, all the John Wicks have got great pictures on them, especially this one. Very good one, especially at the end in the um, the fight scene at the end with all the illuminated lights and everything. Oh, my hair's sticking up the back, don't know why. Uh, Jojo Rabbit, uh, Gift of Mr. Scott Tobin, Jungle Cruise, thank you, sir. Peter Jackson's King Kong, who I went with the last on a date to see this, not realising it was three hours long. Yeah, suffice to say it, never saw that last again. <laughs> Knives Out. Uh, Life, great 4K picture. A Life of Pi, which I've also put the 3D in here as well, great 4K picture and great 3D as well. Uh, the Last Duel, 
uh, which uh, I got import from Italy, and my friend Richard Holyoke, RH Media, got me the English um, inlay for that. Last Night in Soho, not the best, but enjoyable. Lone Survivor, another good 4K picture. Landmark Fury Road, another good 4K picture. Magnificent 7. I am going through these quite fast, aren't I? Still got loads to go here. Uh, Malignant, James Wan. Really Scott's The Martian. I love this film. Really, really good. And Mary Poppins Returns. We're in the home straight now, guys, for the shelf number two. We have Mortal Kombat. Um, let me move this a bit. There we go. Mortal Kombat Steelbook. One and two. That's the only one I've ever double dipped on. So, there's those. Merge on the Orient Express, which goes with, uh, um, I can't even think now, where is it? Merge on the Nile, where is it? I just had it, that was another one. Yeah, the, um, the Nile one. Nobody. Get it from the box set, the Northmen. Anthony Fisher bought me this. Thank you very much, my good man. Uh, the HMV Nope collection, well, collection set as such. Another one with a good 4K picture, and a very good film as well, is uh, Oblivion. If you haven't seen it, Tom Cruise, it's very good. Uh, old M. Night Shyamalan's, which I'm like yet to watch a second time. Tarantino's Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Uh, the Outpost, you can only get these 4K imported. The, U the US edition of this is the, one of the first 4Ks which is region locked. Uh, this one isn't, but the only problem is, although it, it's got English... Um, speaking the uh when it says you're in iraq or wherever you are that's all in german the, the writing which is embedded on it is german but the, the speech and subtitles are in english and finally overload and that's it that's that one done and so commences shelf number three here we go crack on pacific rim Amazing 4K picture. Definitely highly recommend this if you have a 4K TV. Uh, Pacific Rim Uprising Steelbook. Uh, Parasite. 4K and the black and white one. Passengers, which went into that box set as you saw earlier. Uh, Australian import of Patriot's Day. Peninsula, which I think is really good. I, people don't like it because of it being the sequel, kind of sequel or in the same universe as Train to Busan, but I enjoy that one. The remake of Pet Cemetery, which I think is better than the original. Sorry. Then we have Rise, Dawn, and War of the Planet of the Apes, with the third one being the best picture quality. Hang on, I'm just going to straighten all out. We're going to fall over. Crystal Lone's Prestige, another very good film. If you haven't seen this, I highly recommend it. Predator, great picture. The Predator, which I enjoy. I don't think it's as bad as people say it is. I say that quite a lot for these videos. One of my personal favourites, Prometheus, with a highly sought after slip. Don't ask me how I found that. Oh, I got, I think I bought it off something, I can't remember. It's Prometheus. Now the 4K slip of Pulp Fiction. Amelie's decided to join me because she wanted to be on the video, didn't you? Yeah. Okay. So next we have the American import of A Quiet Place, which is not for you. It's scary. And then we have Quiet Place Part 2, which uh, Dave over in uh, Duran Cinema sent me over from the States. What we've got next? My favourite. Which is? Raya and the Last Dragon. Which was a gift from Tony, Horror and Todge, when we were over in Birmingham. And what we've got next? Ready Player One. Ready Player One, Italian import. Next, next we've got? Reservoir Dogs. Yep, Reservoir Dogs, Steelbook Edition. And then, uh, then we have The Revenant. The Revenant. Yeah, the first uh, Oscar winning performance from Leonardo DiCaprio. Move those over to one side and then we'll move on to these ones. So, what we've got next? We have Robin Hood. Yeah, we have Ridley Scott's Robin Hood, which I don't see at the cinema. Thoroughly enjoyed that one. And then we have Saving Private Ryan. The next one. No. Saw? 
Yeah, so Big Paul sent me that because he didn't like it very much. So thank you very much for that. Oh, hang on, I've done this the wrong way around. Hang on. Yeah, carry on. Gold, uh, Scarface. Yep, we have Scarface, Al Pacino and Scarface. Scream. Yep, we got last year's or the years before was uh, Scream or Scream 5. The, sh the Shaw Sank Redemption. Yep, Shaw Sank Redemption. Uh, directed by, I've forgotten his name now, the same guy who did The Walking Dead. I um, completely forgot now. Schindler's List. Schindler's List, yeah, one of the most important films ever made, which must be watched. Schindler's List. Sherlock Holmes. Yep. Sherlock Holmes. Um, Sherlock Holmes, A Game of Shadows. Sherlock Holmes, A Game of Shadows. The Shining. No. Nope. The Shining. Yeah, The Shining, which is a great 4K picture. Really, really good film as well, obviously. The Synops. Sicario. 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 With Emily Brunt, Del Toro and Josh Brolin. Uh, great 4K picture in this. Highly recommend that one for the picture. Sicario 2. Sicario 2, which I am yet to see. Smile. And this is Smile, which I got with the... Uh, gift that Anthony got me for Christmas. So I got that imported because it came with the digital code. Yeah, that's yes, that's Spartacus. See, so Spartacus. Sandy Kubrick's Spartacus. This one. Speed. Yep. Ooh. Don't do that one. Oh, speed. speed. Spiral. Spiral from the Book of Soul. And Tenet. Yep. Christopher Nolan's Tenet, which I've only seen once uh, at the cinema. Uh, so I'll see it again. It's very, very confusing film. Okay. Yeah, oh, yep. No, because we need to make, not, not yet, because we need to make the space here. Oh, okay. Right, go on. Next. So. They Live. Yep, we have John Carpenter's They Live. Top Gun. The original Top Gun without a slip. So if anybody has a slip, thank you. Not, Ma 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 Maverick. Top Gun Maverick, Steelbook Edition, with the uh, lenticular on it. So put that back on there. Yep. Transformers the movie. Yep, Transformers the movie, which my friend Dave Durant sent me over. Terminator Dark Fate. Terminator Dark Fate. Universal Soldier. Universal Soldier. Great film. Roland Emmerich, director of 2012. Us. Us. Ronald Peel's second film, Us. Wally. Wally. Which, do you know what Wally stands for? Wally. I think it's Waste Allocation Load Lifter Earth Class. That's nice. I think. Could be wrong. If I'm wrong, let me know. War of the Worlds. War of the Worlds. Very good. Watchmen. Yeah, the ultimate cut of Watchmen on import. The Wizard of Oz. Which is the oldest film I've got. What year is this one from, Emily? I don't know. 1939. Wow. Zero Dark Thirty. Yeah, and Zero Dark Thirty, which is uh, an import as well with a slip. Because you can't get this on 4K in the UK. So that is the end of the A to Z of the 4Ks. So thank you for your assistance. Yay. My little help has disappeared. So she's got better things to do. But this, so that's the A to Z all done. This is now my Marvel. So I think you know what's coming here. So I'm just going to breeze through these. Um, we have the Iron Man box set. The Captain America box set, the Thor box set, and then we have Incredible Hulk, 
Avengers Assemble. Still don't like call Avengers, just call it the Avengers. Gods of Galaxy number one, obviously. Uh, Avengers Aid of Ultron. Atman. Doctor Strange. Spider-Man Homecoming. Guardians 2. Black Panther. Uh, Infinity War. Atman and the Wasp. Captain Marvel, which I really like. Endgame, which my parents brought me back from uh, Canada, as you can probably see, because it says the uh, Endgame Phase Finale on there. Uh, Far From Home. Black Widow. Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings, which I'm yet to see again. Uh, Eternals, which again, I'm yet to see in second. Spider-Man No Way Home with Rich, who did me the slipcover, which I can't get off. Just stuck onto it now. There we go. Spider-Man No Way Home. Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness. Thor, Love and Thunder. Uh, now, I know at the time of recording, uh, Black Panther Wakanda Forever is out, but I have not picked that one up as of yet. Uh, so then we can move on to Spider-Man, Spider-Man 2, Spider-Man 3, uh, The Amazing Spider-Man, The Amazing Spider-Man 2. You coming in? Yeah. And then we have Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. And then we have <laughs> Venom, and then we have Venom, Let There Be Carnage, and then we, and then we have Morbius, and then we have X-Men, X-Men 3 Film Collection, X-Men First Class, X-Men First Class, X-Men Days of Future Past. X-Men Days of Future Past. And X-Men Apocalypse. X-Men Apocalypse. X-Men Dark Phoenix. X-Men Dark Phoenix. Logan. Logan. And finally. The New Mu Mutants. The New Mutants, which is awful, but you've got to have it to fill the collection. And that is the Marvel Collection. Next up is the boutique boutique label 4Ks, so we shall go through those. We have Dog Soldiers, of course. Great, great, great movie. I love this film. Um, I even went to the cinema to see this when it first came out. What year was it? Two oh, 2022, that's wrong. It must be 90s. Can't even remember. <sighs> 90, I'm going to say 96. Could be wrong. Um, yeah, so there's Dog Soldiers. I have the Dust Ridden. Dawn of the Dead, big 4K box set. And those are my second sight ones. Put those to one side. And then we have Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. I remember having to do um, a report on this when I was at uni. Uh, I can't remember, I had to study it. And then we also have Pitch Black. And if it goes to box sets, we have the Battle Royale one because it comes with um, Battle Royale 2 Requiem, even though it's only Blu-ray. At the moment, I think you can only get Battle Royale 2 Requiem in this box set, could be wrong. Uh, we have the Tremors box set, the Robin Hood Prince of Thieves 4K Steelbook box set, and finally, with the new disc involved, involved inside, the Donnie Darko box set. And that is the boutique labels done. Right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching so far. This is the home straight. This is my Star Wars and Lord of the Rings. Niche shouldn't take too long. So, again, just going to breeze through them. We have episode one, Phantom Menace. Episode two, Attack of the Clones. Episode three, Revenge of the Sith. Um, Solo, Star Wars Story. One of my personal, if not all-time favourite, Rogue One, a Star Wars Story. Then we have the Steelbook of... Number four, or the original Star Wars New Hope. Then we have Empire Strikes Back. 
And finally, the only steel books I have with this is Return of the Jedi, is the original three. Then we have Force Awakens, The Last Jedi, and The Rise of Skywalker. Hi. Hi. Are you videoing this as well? No. I'm going to follow Tracy. Okay. And then the last two ones we've got is the trilogy of The Hobbit. The motion picture trilogy of the Hobbit Thanks. in steel books, as well as the Lord of the Rings trilogy in steel books as well, and that is it. That is the complete 4K collection. Hi. So that is it. That is the complete 4K collection from My Pie Movies as of the Sunday, the 12th of February, 2023. Uh, thanks very much for watching. I know it's a long video, I appreciate it. As I said earlier in the video, any comments, suggestions or questions you've got, drop it in the comments below. Other than that, thank you very much. Don't forget to please like, share and subscribe. Don't know what I'm doing, like, share and subscribe. Um, and that's it, this is Jolly Paul, a last survivor member of my Pie Movies, seeing what we do in life echoes an eternity. And don't forget, every fortnight on a Sunday, we have the live streams and this guest on this coming guest on the 19th is my good friend Ivana from Slayer Reviews. Don't miss it. Be there or be square. Yeah, I'm going to leave that in. Uh, yeah, but that's it. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you all very soon. I'm going to go now and have some lunch, I think, because I'm starving. Or at least watch football, one or two. Anyway, have a good rest of your day and I'll catch you soon. Bye for now.